Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I've created this video to help you to feel more confident about your child starting school. I will begin with an overview of the Early Years Foundation Stage curriculum. I will explain the reception baseline assessment and I will discuss phonics. I will then go on to discuss the ways in which you can help your child develop skills in communication and language, self-regulation, physical development, print awareness, phonological awareness and early maths. Finally, I will discuss how to prepare yourself for the transition and how to prepare your child for the transition. The Early Years Foundation Stage curriculum is an education stage for children aged from birth to five years. The EYFS sets out the expected developmental milestones within these seven areas of learning. It supports us as staff to ensure that we are providing the correct support, provision and learning environments to best enable the children to thrive. The three characteristics of effective learning described in the Early Years Foundation Stage curriculum are playing and exploring, active learning and creating and thinking critically. Skills nurture the characteristics of effective learning so that children will be creative and adventurous learners throughout their lives. The reception baseline assessment will be conducted on a one-to-one -one basis with your child during his or her first few weeks at school. The assessment allows the government to measure the progress that children make from reception to the end of primary school. This is not a pass or fail assessment and the children will not be under any pressure. More information on the baseline assessment is available. Phonics is a way of teaching reading and writing, which focuses on linking written letters, graphemes, with sounds, phonemes. Children are taught to link the phonemes to read. For example, p, i, n, pin. To write, children are taught to segment words into their component phonemes. For example, cat. Skills to develop. Helping your child to develop self-regulation will have a positive impact on your child's overall development at school. You can help your child by modelling self-regulation and labelling your own feelings and emotions. You can help your child by labelling his or her emotions and discussing emotions with your child. You can help your child to develop communication and language skills. The first way in which you can help your child is by playing with your child, by really playing with them, by being involved and enthusiastic in their play. The second way is by sharing books, songs, jokes, rhymes and poems. And the third way is to engage in conversations, lots of conversations, back and forth. The fourth way is to consider screen time. The World Health Organisation suggests that children have no more than one hour per day watching a screen. Do not worry if your child is not yet able to write their name or hold a pencil effectively. These skills will be developed once your child starts school. It is important that you provide opportunities for your child to develop gross motor and fine motor skills. There are lots of ways to do this. Here is a list of just a few. Encourage your child to do up their own coats, to walk rather than use a pram. Provide plenty of opportunities to go to your local park. Encourage your child to play with Play-Doh and use scissors. Provide opportunities for threading and lots of arts and crafts. You can help your child to develop print awareness by making them aware of environmental print, both indoors and outdoors. You can model reading, pointing to the words as you read and model writing. And you can share lots of stories with your child. You can help your child to develop phonological awareness by encouraging your child to listen to and move to music, encouraging your child to orally blend words. For example, saying, we are going to the p, r, and encouraging your child to blend the sounds to hear the word park. Listen out for environmental sounds, asking your child, what can you hear? 
enjoy singing nursery rhymes together and use alliteration. Alliteration is repeating a sound at the start of words. For example, hedgehogs hog the hedge. You can clap out the syllables to words, such as your child's name. You can help your child to develop early math skills. Here are some of the key ways in which you can help your child. If your child is able to recite numbers with ease, teach your child to count forwards and backwards, to start counting from different numbers. Encourage your child to subitize, to look at a small group of objects and know how many there are without counting. Encourage your child to use one-to-one -one correspondence to count out objects and actions, such as jumps and skips. Talk about patterns. Verbalise them. Yellow, green, yellow, green. Allow your child to play with shapes and make arrangements with shapes. Compare shapes. Look out for maths in the environment. Play lots of board games together. The orchard games are really great for developing early math skills. The transition. Prepare yourself for the transition. Let school know as soon as possible if you have any special educational needs and disability concerns about your child. Add the school phone number to your phone book. All parents feel differently about their child starting school. Some parents can be particularly anxious. Even if you're feeling worried, try your best to put on a brave face and not let your child see that you're worried. Take time to complete forms. Take time to read the information that is given to you and put the dates in your diary. You can help to prepare your child for the transition. Listen to stories together about starting school. If the school have got a tour video on their website, take time to watch this video together. Visit the school. Take part in the transition activities that are offered to you and your child. Arrange to meet up with other families with children who are starting school. Let your child wear his or her uniform before starting school.